Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. I've been banished to the kitchen today. I woke up a few hours ago, had a cup of coffee, woke up a little bit, was literally getting the table ready to read cards when my son came in. He's not feeling well today. He is currently sacked out in my room. <laughs> so I've brought myself out to the kitchen. It's time for the weekly fire signs. We're going to start off with you. Be reading with the wizards, clarifying with the rider weight, and getting additional advice from the wisdom oracle today. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, it's the 29th of March. <laughs> we'll do the 29th of March to the 4th of April. It's hard to see the calendar. but we can get to fly out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Did one flip? No. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. March 29th to April 4th. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Why on earth would my fire sign babies feel like they are not good enough? What is up with that? What is up with that? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. Four shuffles. Oh. Six of Swords in the Star. Sometimes it's a bumpy road on the road to healing, isn't it? Sometimes. We'll see if they come back out. Maybe some of you have decided to walk away from something. Hermit in the Page of Cups. You need time. You need a minute. Hmm. Okay. Challenges. You might have an offer coming in. Let me put that over there. Not a, not a, little, not a lot of room on the table. We'll make it work, though. King of Swords, Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles. The logical approach. Find out what this Four of Pentacles is all about. I feel like some of you might be locking someone or something out. That was a conversation. <laughs> Self love. Five of Swords, Seven Pentacles, Queen of Cups. You waited around, see what we fruit, choose yourself. So why this? Why this? You've made the choice to love yourself first and foremost and take care of you. Why are you not feeling like you're good enough? You 
new start coming. Problem is, a little bit of anxiety. Eight of Pentacles might call for some self work. Let's get a little clarity. Five of Cups upright. Seven Pentacles reversed. Somebody a little sad because you grew impatient. Maybe you're kicking yourself in the butt. Don't do that. Oh, Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck. Love yourself first. Let's see what we can get to fly out. Loving yourself enough to know when to walk away from a situation is not selfishness. Self-preservation is not selfishness. Don't, don't confuse the two. fly out and play it today? Somebody gonna fly out and oh ho oh, hi the lovers and the hanged man sometimes you do have to hang yourself upside down to see things in a different light don't you? Sometimes you have to be stuck in that place for a little while to get unstuck. Lovers can indicate a choice. It can indicate a soulmate connection. It can also indicate a choice. I currently don't see any other twos. Maybe there was a dark and a light side to it. All right. Two sides to every story, isn't there? Talk to me about this hermit. Just hanging out on a journey of self-discovery, walking the path, finding the light inside. By the looks of things you've been through it, that does not look like it went well at all. That is the conversation that happens right before you hop on the boat for the Six of Swords and go on the journey. What's up with this hermit? Not right now. It's in the future. Definitely. Ace of Swords. Not right now. Not right now. Not ready to start anything. There's a cup coming in. Talk to me about this Page of Cups. Talk to me about this Page of Cups.
That's an apology. They've broken your heart before. I'll be damned. He's carrying three swords. Three swords. One more on that. One more on that. Remember when I start spewing out pronouns, I'm just talking about the people depicted in the card. It doesn't necessarily mean that's who you're dealing with or the gender of the person you're dealing with. Just, you know, insert whatever pronoun works best for you. If you feel like this is vibing, King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All that in a bag of chips. That's why... This is all upside down. That's why. Alright, talk to me about this King of Swords. Talk to me about this King of Swords. decision made from a logical perspective rather than an emotional one. Don't take the cup. logical of a perspective is it the king of swords is very much guarded he uses his sword to protect his heart it's very standoffish energy talk to me about this eight of cups That's a wad, but we're going to take it. <laughs> Ace of Cups reversed, Four of Wands reversed, Two of Wands. Not only are you walking away, you're sending someone packing and slamming the door behind them, possibly locking it with this Four of Pentacles. because you've chosen to let go of the rod of the past and move on to the rod of the future or the world before you that you're holding in your hand. But are you doing it because you're guarded? Or are you doing it because it's time to do so? That's where the story splits off. Talk to me about this Four of Pentacles. Hierophant reversed. I think you'd rather not. Possibly still holding a little bit of a grudge. The end of the week. Don't you ever feel like you're not good enough? Not ever. Talk to me about this Five of Swords for what happened with my fire signs.
Mm. You never processed that hurt, did you? Nope. Queen of Swords reverse just pissed off. Just straight up pissed off. Changed your attitude for sure. If not toward the person, toward life and love in general. I think some of you sat in it for a while. Seven of Pentacles. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Ah! Oh my goodness. Wait for it. Wait for it. Thank you. Seven of rods reverse. Double reverse. Hmm. Yes, you felt defeated for quite a while, but you realized the blessing in this devil reversed. There was something toxic about this. There was something... The King of Pentacles can be a little bit toxic. I mean, yeah, he's got it going on, but there's a dark side to that. Three of, Pent yep, three of Pentacles reversed. You allowed it to separate. There can be a dark side to the King of Pentacles, especially if he's all uppity. Kind of high maintenance. Probably has white shoes that he keeps habitually clean. Watch the hair. Watch the hair. It's very John Stamos. Watch the hair. Mm. Star reversed. Six of rods reversed. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You realize the blessing in time. You never quite healed from this. Why is the Queen of Pen why is the Queen of Cups here? Self love, self work. Lots of options, probably too many for some of you. I think some of you just dumped cups right out in front of people's faces. It's a matter of self-preservation. I don't want your cup. I'm not interested in your cup. This is what I'm doing to your cup because my cup is more important. She is sitting in her cup. Looks like she's just sitting there in the water. She's sitting in her cup of love, dumping out everyone else's. So much love to give. Temperance. Temperance. Patience. One day. One day. One day. Wow. Some of you may have waited to jump their cup out in front of their face. Some of you may have waited for that moment of apology. This may be you not wanting to be the Queen of Pentacles.
who would want to be the queen of pentacles if there's no room for your shoes in the closet or your hair care products in the bathroom? Just throwing that out there. Talk to me about this Ace of Swords for a second. What's coming in new? You're restless. You're anxious. Possibly something to stir the... Oh, no. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune reversed. Queen of Wands. Could be a Leo. Hot Pursuit. <laughs> she knows what she wants. She goes after it. Sexual energy there. Competitive energy. Possibly some intuitive energy. You may be drawn to this person, and with this Wheel of Fortune reversed, there could be a reason for it. King of Swords reversed. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're guarded because you're anxious. Someone may be coming on a little bit too strong, possibly someone you already know, or you're going to feel like you know them. Time is fluid when we speak of the past. It's not always this life, friends. Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords reversed. You're still on your journey. I feel like some of you may pass over this because of your anxiety, because of your standoffishness, because they're coming on a little bit too strong. But I feel like this is a wheel that is just going to keep turning and turning and turning. You're on a journey. You're on a path. You're healing. You're healing. I'm not going to say don't pass it up because if you're not ready to go into a relationship, by all means... Wait until you're no longer in your mental prison. Work on you. Eight of Pentacles. Let's get a wisdom for fire. I'm going to warm my coffee up. Number one. Hmm. The start of everything. The masculine principle of movement and creative activity. The power to make things happen. Taking action. Oracle's message. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward, and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life, 
and a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. With that, if you are ready, if you are ready, relationship message circumstances are supporting action on your part it's okay to make the first move trust that you will quickly know where you stand In matters of the heart there is movement towards your highest good so go forth with assurance passion is in the air and now is the time to dance to the tune of love take the lead if you are ready If you're ready. Okay, fire. I'm going to pause, warm up my coffee, clear the decks, and we will move on to Earth. Okay, Earth signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. March. 29th to the 4th of April. Wants to fly out. Ace of Swords. Hmm. All right. be kicking it with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. New start in thoughts, new ways of thinking, new ways of seeing the world, maybe. Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, could have Leo in your chart. Eight of Swords in the reverse is the challenge. Coming out of that anxiety. You've overcome. You've tamed the beast. Challenge is getting through the anxiety. Okay. Two of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Not enough information to make a decision with clarity. at things. Coming out of anxiety, taming a beast, the moon reverse, secrets being revealed. Eight of cups in the reverse, indicating a return. The world in reverse, indicating unfinished business.
four of swords, nine of cups reversed, five of swords reversed. Break time. Took a time out. Sometimes you need a little bit of a time out. Once you see things in new light, a fresh set of eyes. That's a whole lot of cards. We'll address them. Six of Swords, the World, and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. The world can also indicate travel. Closing of a chapter, not necessarily the end of a story. But a departure brought about confusion. Somebody had to go away for a while? Break time. Break time. Seeing things through a new set of eyes. Talk to me about strength. You overcame the tumbling of the tower. Four of Wands in the reverse is my minor arcana tower. <clears throat> Slamming of a door. The closing of a chapter. Something coming to an abrupt end before the Five Wands. Before the argument and the confrontation. Huh. Eight of Swords reversed. Talk to me about the Eight of Swords reversed. You. Two of Cups. It's the coming back together. It's a un it, it, it talks about unity. Twos talk about unity. Could be something new. Could be something old. It does not feel new. But if it is new... And you're overcoming the anxiety of something new. Wouldn't this be a horrible time for something old to come creeping back? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Why the moon? Why the moon? in the reverse. I laugh because it's funny. This week is going to be an eye-opener. Truths coming to light. The sun coming out after a long, dark night. The fog lifting. Questions being answered, and three return cards right in a row. Boom, boom, boom. This may not be, this two of swords reversed at the bottom may not be not enough information. It may be an impossible decision. Oh my.
Queen of Pentacles. The fog has lifted. The smoke has cleared. The sun has risen. And someone realizes who the catch is. Eight of Cups. Reversed. The Fool. The Return. The Hey Why Not. Oh. Knight of Wands. And the reverse. The Happy Traveler. The Party Pony, if you will. But he's reversed. Why is he reversed? Now remember, when I throw out pronouns, I'm talking about the characters depicted in the card. I'm not necessarily talking about the pronouns in your particular situation. Two of Swords. A decision made with clarity. Someone is going to gallop back in to try to stop you because they realize who the sunshine is. Someone's getting ready to jump. Why the world reversed? Knight of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. Possibly found out through social media that you started dating again. Or that you're off with someone new, that you overcame the pain. Why the world reversed? Five of Swords reversed. The humbling. The tail between the legs. Hairfant reversed. The lovers. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. If this is you overcoming anxiety with a new relationship enough to like get super serious, possibly an engagement, if it's gone that that far that fast, if you've overcome it to that point, someone's going to come in and try to stop you. Connection. It's the connection. Okay, let's find out why it happened. We're gonna find out what you what what you're gonna do. Why the four of swords? That's break time. Ace of wands. Break time. Find a new adventure. Six of Cups. Maybe we should just be friends. This goes back a long time. Younger years, maybe? Younger years? Way, like, yeah, like, seats way back. Yeah. Nine of Cups reversed. Talking about this Nine of Cups reversed. Empress. Seven Swords. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. 
They weren't happy. Someone wasn't happy. Could have been way overindulgent. Lies. There could have been a child involved. Ten swords in the moon, deception, deception. Oh shit. And in came the fog. The secrets, the deception, the pain, the lies. Break time. Something happened on break time. Like somebody got somebody else pregnant, possibly. Could be. And tried to hide it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why the Five of Swords reversed? Oh, man. Six pens. Temperance. Judgment. Eight of Swords. The leveling of the playing field. The coming clean. The humbling. <sighs> One more. They were anxious. Nine Wands. Hanged man. It's a very defeated man right there. Oh, man. Patiently waited for a time to try to resurrect this. You were not happy. Hmm. It took a long time for you to be able to take a cup from someone or a sword or anything. You had to overcome it come out of your anxiety. It's going to try to stop you. Alright, so this is who... <laughs> Why the Knight of Pentacles? We have to burn some sage after this. Earth signs, you never do this to me. The cards tell somebody's story. Why the Knight of Pentacles? That's slow-moving, solid, stable energy. Wow, it just flipped a wad, too. Death reversed. What did I drop? Page of Pentacles. Yes, indeed. Slow-moving energy. The apology. I'm gonna keep it out. We're gonna go over these. The healing, the loving yourself.
coming together, finding into, oh wow. Put them back. Maybe some of you come to the conclusion after this return, you have an impossible decision to make because they're still feeling there. You don't know if you want the cycle to be over. But you must remember, Ace of Pentacles reversed, it's the seed that never grew. Some seeds lay dormant. Some seeds die. Some lay dormant. The Hermit reversed in the King of Wands. Have you healed enough to move forward? Five of Wands, Chariot, King of Pentacles, Justice reversed. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Injustice. An injustice has been done. Talk to me about this Ace of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. That's an energy that goes way back, isn't it? Tread with caution. Ten of Cups reversed. Tread with caution. Slow, calculated, thought out. Tread with caution. You have an impossible decision to make, and I can't make it for you. You've been through the ringer. You came out of it. There's definitely something with the great potential of being stable. It will be slow moving, which it should be. Oh, I think he woke up. He is watching something way too loud. Hold on. He turned on absolute history. <laughs> I've fallen back asleep. It's a channel here on YouTube. It um, talks a lot about um, all sorts of cultures. Um, I think he's watching something on World War II in Britain, but it's pretty hilarious that he would pick that. Anyway, where were we? Well, you should probably see this as I see it. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Mm. Picking the wrong thing is not the road to happiness, but what is your road to happiness? <sighs> I don't know. We're going to get a wisdom kind of lost it there for a second. This is complicated. This is extremely complicated. I guess it's up to you to decide if whoever decided to come back came back in time because they realized what they lost. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. 26, 2 plus 6 is 8. Forward movement, number 26. Joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. 
Your desires are effort effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment, for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being one with spirits planned for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Relationship message. There are moments in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you're with and know that your heart is wide open to befriend, to love, and to care for another without wanting anything in return. This is the kind of happy that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now, not somewhere else or off in the future. The grass is greenest, the grass is greenest right where you stand. Be grateful and delight in your relationship. And if you're seeking one, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of itself, like bees to honey. Are you happy? Are you happy? Right where you are. That's what you have to ask yourself. Does whatever this is coming back matter? Does it matter? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Are you happy right now? I mean, you should be. You overcame some shit. Mm. Saying. You fought the battle. All right, we clear the decks, move on to air. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March 29th through April 4th. That's a wad. No. Mm, we have a twofer. Diligence. Page of cu page of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Hmm. Some of you could be working and going to school. Some of you doing double duty.
あー That's the Knight of Pentacles That's stability. That's a slow, that's an offer. The challenge is the emperor energy. You've taken charge of things. You're doing double duty. You're getting it done. And then this comes in. Huh. Queen of Swords, High Priestess, The World... The world's in reverse. I've got a secret. Page of Wands. Hmm. He's not the greatest thinker. I'm telling you that right now. He just does. Extremely impulsive energy. rather immature. Versus this page, the page of pentacles, moves with purpose, studious, has a plan, but they both strive to be this, the emperor, because ultimately all four pages strive to one day to be the king. Why do I feel like this used to be you? You've had to knuckle down, haven't you? Oh, seven of pentacles under that. Patience. Patience. Ace of cups is under that. We'll see if we have to address that later. I need clarity. This is definitely unfolding something to me. Indeed, telling a story. There's a lot of holes here. I have a secret. Why is she saying I have a secret to me?
you had to close a chapter. And that is just the closure of a chapter. That's not the end of the story. It's just the closure of the chapter. Talk to me about this Knight of Pentacles. Who is this? Who is this Knight of Pentacles? Empress reversed. Mmm. Stunted Ace of Swords. Yep. Something you walked away from once already. Something from your past that did not grow. Could be with an air sign, possibly an Aquarius. Something you had to heal from, something you definitely walked away from. Why is it coming back with an offer now? Talk to me about this Emperor. Four of Wands. That's a door of opportunity. Maybe it's something that walked away from you. Four of Pentacles. They want to latch on to you. You got your shit together. That's why they're coming for an offer. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. They want to be part of the next chapter. Why the Queen of Swords? Why the Queen of Swords? Oh, man. The moon and the magician reversed. Something smells me. Oh, something smells me. Wow. Something tells me you're smelling a lie like a, a fart in the wind right now. You know what's up. That queen of swords knows what's up. She ain't dumb. She is not stupid. I think when they come back and present this with you, you're just going to be like, you know what? Um, you already done pulled the wool over my eyes once. You know they're just trying to manipulate you. Magician reversed. You know they have a secret. They promise in cups. They promise in cups and happiness and bliss. Oh, they're making all kinds of promises, but you, you smell it. You know. You know. You know. Why the High Priestess? Why the High Priestess? The Page of Cups and Justice.
Another page. Another page. Some of y'all may be dealing with somebody that wants to make something legal. Just a scenario. If it's not yours, leave it alone. A cooperation of sorts. Offering a cup, but they want something else. They want something else. They see the potential. Queen of Wands, they ain't going to quit. They want what they want, and they're going to pursue it, and they're going to pursue it. Why the world reversed? Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles reversed, two of Cups reversed. You have no patience for it. I don't think you can take the cup. You have no patience for it. You have options. Page of Wands, Page of Swords. I feel like you're going to tell them you don't have patience for it. If this didn't used to be you, this was definitely them. Impulsive. Fly by night. All of a sudden they're trying to come back as Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles ain't got a whole lot. Slow, solid, stable. Mm, I don't know. I feel like they're just after your pentacles. I feel like they're just after your pentacles. Why is this star here for why it happened? cup in each hand, a pentacle in each hand. Water in the water, water on the land. Which do I choose? Which do I choose? Ace of Wands. Four. Eight of Wands. <coughs> happen quickly. The star is the card after the tower. This happened quickly. This is very abrupt. I think you jumped in as fast as somebody jumped out. And you had to decide. You had to decide what's better for me. Why the world reversed. Sorry, why the wheel reversed. Why the wheel reversed. Six of swords. Left it unfinished.
Anxiety, deception, possible third party. You you left it unfinished. You had to do the logical thing and not the emotional one. You left it unfinished. You just got in your boat and left. It was too much. It was too much. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. It was too much. Impulsiveness wasn't benefiting you. Things went quickly. Nine of Cups reversed. Why the Nine of Cups reversed? They weren't happy, they tried to rebuild the tower, they tried to offer you a cup, you ignored it. Ten Pentacles, Knight of Wands, offer you a future, the big brick house, the white picket fence, 2.5 kids, the dog, the pool all back, the big poor wraparound porch with the swing and drinking lemonade and promised a bright and happy future and then rode off on their horse again leaving you with nine spilled cups. Two of Wands. Talk to me about this Two of Wands. Where do you go at the crossroads? Where do you go at the crossroads? Queen of Pentacles reversed. sun. King of Cups. The emotion is there, but it is not expressed. You hold a cup for this person, but bottom line, you don't want their pentacle. Y you don't need it. You're working on your own. Nine of Wands reversed. The throwing into the towel. You gave up on this. You walked away before you got to the tenth wand because you saw the burden stacking up. Building your own foundations. Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords. Stick to your guns. You smell a rat and you know it. And it's time to lay this to rest and stack your own pentacles. You gave up on this once. One path is going to end up dragging you down. The other path. The other path 
leads to your happiness. It's okay to have feelings for someone. But you have to do what's best for you. Like the Queen of Cups loves herself first and foremost and absolute. What do you think this guy does? Just throwing that out there. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. I'm leaving it there. You got it together already. Keep it together. Give me a wisdom. I just realized that my trash can has been in the frame this whole time. You get a twofer. Blessed and never-ending story. Really. Okay. We'll read them both. Blessed to number 22. Two plus two is four. Four is the number of stability. Something wonderful that is unearned and unexpected. Grace that is an unforeseen gift from spirit. There are moments in life when out of the blue, it seems that everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention. You feel blessed in ways that are difficult to express. It's as if the Red Sea parts in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. You know deep down, you did not deserve any of it, and yet here you are. This is one of those times. Let awe and gratitude for all your blessings guide you now. There's a relationship message. You are moving toward a deepening intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection, this union blessed by the divine, we will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that, even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with self and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. All right, number 37, never ending story. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. There's a story woven through imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. There's the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, you must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. And the narrator is simply a voice of your fearful part, small and vulnerable and easily soothed. There's the relationship message. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now, you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself old ones. Have compassion for that part of you that believes all those narratives, none of them were ever true anyway. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm going to pause, clear the decks, and we're going to move on to our water sign, friends. 
Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. March 29th through April 4th. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Something has gone stagnant. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Where's the bright side? The painful part's over. And despite something going stagnant, possibly something not being all it was cracked up to be to begin with, you're holding that nice shiny pentacle. Why do you care? The sun's about to shine again in your life, but something was indeed painful. There's probably some lies, deception, and bullshit involved. Mmm. Oh, boy. Tell me more. The sun at the bottom of the deck could have been a Leo. Could be family involved. The Wheel of Future. Fortune. I knew. The Wheel of Fortune. I don't have my glasses on. It's dark. I'm tired. <sighs> Unfinished business. Return. The choice. Swords reversed. I feel like something just kind of went flat.
I think Mr. or Mrs. whatever, ignore the pronoun. Two of Pentacles upright. Do I or don't I? Things went stagnant. Someone was trying to make a decision. It's the choice. It's the choice. So what will benefit me more? Do I go back with my tail between my legs? That was the Seven of Cups. What path do I take? What cup do I choose? Talk to me about this Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Oh, dang. You don't want no knight. You want the king. You're leveling up. And I believe it was when I read for the fire signs that I said, you know, sometimes he's kind of high maintenance, white shoes, watch the hair, you know, still. That's the catch. That, that, that That's a goal. That's, well, the emperor's the ultimate goal, but king of pentacles is a goal. But you got to be up there near him. You got to be up at that queen of pentacles level yourself. You want something that's going to lift you up, not drag you down in more ways than just one. Talk to me about this Ten of Swords. Talk to me about this Ten of Swords. You were not going to wait for someone to evolve. They tried to sell themselves as this. They were this. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Star reversed. Didn't heal from it, did you? Something was left unfinished. Something was left unhealed. See how it flipped on the table? Two of Swords reversed. King of Swords. Emperor. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Logical decisions rather than emotional attachments, but a hard choice to make. <coughs> it's the Emperor, my way or the highway energy. Slow moving, steady, stable. Somebody couldn't make a decision, so it was left unfinished by the lovers. There's a pentacle over them. Are you done spinning now? Are you done? Death reversed. You are my lover. I do not want this death cycle to end. We would make such a good pair if they could ever evolve, or if they could make up their mind what they wanted. They don't want to fight. They don't want confrontation. This isn't going to be like the War of the Roses. It may end in sadness. I don't think it's your sadness, though. I think it ends up being theirs. I feel like... I feel like you got sick of waiting. I feel like you're going to let him know. Eight of Cups. Why the Eight of Cups reversed?
two majors, High Priestess and Temperance. Why the High Priestess? I feel like you send him packing. I feel like you send them packing. I feel like you stop them dead in their tracks. I want happiness. I want calm. I do not know. I don't want what you have to offer me. Your attempt at resurrection is beautiful. Please go away now. That is how that feels. Why is it always stories about people who have been put through the ringer once already? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Because this is why it all went down. Somebody had options. Somebody couldn't decide. Wanted to avoid conflict. Seven Pentacles. Probably wanted some more time. I think somebody said, you're out of time. Three of Pentacles reversed. I'm done now, leading to the Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Isn't that funny how that works? reversed. Unfinished business. Left the cycle incomplete. At the very least, the cycle gets completed anyway painful one but nonetheless the sun shines again even if you're the one that makes it shine It's okay to admit that they hurt you. It's okay to bring that up. It's called an honest conversation. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here? Yeah, Eight of Wands reversed, Three of Cups reversed. I don't think y'all talked for a while. I don't even think you guys could have been friends for a while. There's a lot of threes on this board, too. Some of them are upside down. Somebody definitely could not make up their mind. And inevitably, someone ended up picking the wrong one. And then realizing that they picked the wrong one. Decide to come back for who they, who they think is the right one. No. And then they say no. No. Water signs, I think you said no. You didn't pick me to begin with. You don't get to change your mind now. Because I'm putting this to an end. Two of Pentacles reversed. was falling off my house. Two of Wands reversed. Sorry, Page of Wands reversed. Hangman reversed. What? 
Don't let them hang you up and jack you up. You know what you want. You want happiness. They've already dropped the tower once. Coming back for a return. Mm. King of Swords. About time to tell somebody what's up. And shut the door. Like for real. Go off and do you on your new start. Right there. Right there. Okay. Ten of Swords. Uh, Ten of Swords. I'm leaving it. If you want the pain and misery to end, let it end. Don't keep this going. Even if somebody comes back all Six of Pentacles and wants to level the playing field, you want on the Six of Pentacles, please. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, reverse four cups upright. If you're questioning what's in the cup, there's probably a reason you're questioning it. One more. Lovers reversed. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Don't let this get you all up in a tizzy. Don't. I mean, do you? If you feel like being all up in a tizzy over it, by all means, please go for it. But I feel like you're on to bigger and better things here. I really do. I really do. Let's get a wisdom. To the sea. To the sea. Being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. There are points... Okay, here's the relationship message. Points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to flow its own identity, to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. Mm, it's all the way you want to flow. All right, guys. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. I will catch you next week. Hopefully it'll be by the 4th. We'll see how things go. But I send you off with peace, love, and light. Thank you so much for your time today. Be well.